right. Everyone, how you doing? My name is Luke, of course. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. This is a random lunch and chat. I've been out here at Lone Wolf Mountain filming today, filming some reviews, and now it's lunchtime. I figured that I would have lunch with you all, update you all on the Land Cruiser, and also show you some products that I'm testing out. Some are rather strange. I'm not sure if I'm going to review every single one of them, but <laughs> yeah, they're definitely interesting. Giving you all an update here on the Land Cruiser, and if just in case you don't know this, this is a 1990, oh, <laughs> what is this again? To give you all an update on the Land Cruiser, here's what I've done so far. I've already mentioned this in a previous episode, so this may overlap a little bit, but I replaced a broken engine idle lock switch. I removed the stove and sink combo. That was interesting. And also, I had the windows tinted. They are limo black for the back of the vehicle, and they're legal up front. As I was on my way to get this vehicle tinted, a friend of mine called, and he stated that he had gotten pulled over and he was written a few tickets because of his tinting on his windows. With his old F-150, the windows were like jet black. So he had to tear all of that stuff out. I was going to get everything just blacked out totally, but that changed my mind. My truck, I'm sure you all are familiar with this, but my truck is dark, way past legal. Luckily, I've never had an issue, but you never know. Maybe one day I will. Anyways, folks, it seems like there's something else I've done, but I can't think of it at the moment. Anyways, it really doesn't matter. In the end, I have to say, folks, I've been loving the Land Cruiser. I mean, I really, really do. This thing is so much fun to drive. It is so incredibly capable, too. We had our first winter storm the other day. Check this out. Negative 18 degrees Fahrenheit with 60 mile an hour winds and snow. This thing went everywhere with no issues. I was very, very impressed. I was cruising around on the back roads, just having some fun with my wife. And I tell you what, it just climbed everything. I didn't even have to engage the locker on it. I'm very, very impressed. I've done a handful of trips already with Land Cruiser. And I have to say the suspension on this is top notch. It's very comfortable to drive. It's easy to drive because it's so small. It just goes anywhere you want to. All in all, I'm very, very impressed with it. There are a few things that I want to do though, namely with the back here. As you all have seen in a previous adventure, there are two panels. There's one here, there's one here. You could take this panel and move it up towards the top and that makes a sleeping platform. I was thinking about this. I would actually like to have an additional panel. That way I can have the sleeping platform and also a platform right here. I could use that as a uh, sort of table, right? So I'm going to make another one. I might even recover these. These were covered in some sort of vinyl. There's a few small holes here and there. I was thinking about covering this with like a Kodora material. That would be pretty sweet. Inexpensive, super tough, and also easy to do. If you saw the first adventure that I did out with this vehicle, you saw the stove and sink combination. That was an interesting platform that had a sink built into one side. Underneath that sink was a water container, and on the other side was a butane stove. I ended up taking that out. It was interesting, but not super, super helpful. Not very conducive for the way that I wanted to set up this vehicle. So I took it out, and in fact, I'm selling it to a viewer right now, which is pretty funny. Anyways, I decided to pick up a table and see if it would fit inside of here. And this is what I got. This is from Sportneer, and we might as well open this up now. So here we go, let's see if this is going to work. <laughs> Check that out, that's going to be perfect. Look at how low that is. That is going to fit inside of this perfectly. And if I wanted to, it does have leg extensions, so you can raise this up even higher. I mean, that's, that's pretty darn sturdy, folks. I think the top of this is a little bit ugly. I may cover this with some sort of like rubber or silicone or something, but it works. Something else that I've picked up is this dual burner stove from Nature Hike. This is something that I plan to review. This is pretty interesting. 
double flame folding gas stove. Runs on isobutane canisters. In some ways, it's similar to the like jet boil Genesis, with the exception this does not cost an arm and a leg. The Genesis is so expensive. So you have two stands. You also receive this plate here. That's pretty slick, everyone. This is your gas connection and also the adjuster. Let's try this one. That one ignited. Let's go back here. There we go, finally. For lunch today, folks, it's going to be simple. I really don't have that much time, so I'm going to have a real Termat meal. This one is kebab stew. It's amazing. Oh man, that smells incredible. I mentioned that I've been reviewing some products today here at Lone Wolf Mountain, and this is one of them. This is from Trangia, a very, very, very well-known company. Ultralight, strong enough. The price is great, it's about $25. There's one issue with it though. The company used plastic hardware for some reason, and it's not heat resistant. So you have to be careful, otherwise the plastic will melt. The grab tab, it will melt off from hot water alone, which is crazy. Additionally, I reviewed a pair of pants from Fjallraven, the Vita Pro with the ventilated zip on the side. Those pants are incredible. Well worth the money. Okay, we're done. I have to ask you all, how was your Christmas? For myself, it was fantastic. My son, he was able to come home and we just had a good old time. It was super, super cold. It was a great excuse for us all just to stay in the house. We watched movies, we played video games. We spent quite a bit of time playing DMZ with the uh, Modern Warfare 2. That was a lot of fun. Have you all played that? If so, comment down below. As far as presents and all that stuff goes, we do not do that at my house. We have each other, we spend time together, that's enough. Nobody needs to spend money on presents or anything. So we just had a good time. We had a good meal, some good meals I should say. We played games, really just enjoy each other's company. Plus, <laughs> we were all trying to stay warm. Negative 18 degrees, folks. That's not with the wind chill. The wind chill, I read somewhere was like negative 50 degrees on the mountaintops. So it's just miserable, miserable. Like some of the higher up communities, like above 5,000 feet, they had catastrophic damage from burst pipes and so on. This area is not designed for temperatures like that. When my father was a kid, the winters were much, much colder. In fact, like once the creeks froze up, they stayed frozen. And basically that was their refrigerator. They would go to the creeks, cut up big chunks of ice, and they would use that to keep everything cold. Very rarely do the creeks ice up anymore. And in truth, for the last maybe 10 years or so, we're not even getting that much snow. The world changes, everything changes. Everything is in a constant state of change. That's how it goes. Let's see, I need some coffee. Be right back. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 
As far as the temperature goes today, it's about 28 degrees. It's not that cold, really. Thank God those winds are not blowing. 60 mile an hour winds is not fun. It brought down trees all over the place. Plus factor in that cold. From what I understand, it's going to warm up after this point. I think tomorrow it's supposed to be like 50 degrees here. <laughs> How about that? It's pretty funny. I thought I brought it with me, but I guess I didn't. So check this out. I went to the post office and there's a package waiting for me. Not only were these sunglasses in there, my buddy Mark, he sent me these. He's a viewer, thank you so much. He said that since I like the black ones so much, he figured I would like these. So my friend, thank you so much, pal. I really appreciate it. What do you all think about the white ones? Usually I wear like solid black. Is the white too distracting? Comment down below. Besides the sunglasses, there was a package from Olight, which is a flashlight company. And inside of that package was a flashlight called the Arc Field. A-R-K-F-E-L-D. It is a really interesting flashlight. It looks more like a remote control for your television or something. It has the flashlight functionality, but also a laser pointer. Since I've received this product, I've been testing it out some, I, I doubt I'm going to review it, but I have found it to be incredibly interesting. My question for Olight was, who was this designed for? What's the purpose of this light? Because it makes very little sense to me. I've reached out to some of my YouTube buddies. Nobody has a good answer. I reached out to you all. I did a post on YouTube and the comments were hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they were hilarious, as you can imagine. I reached out to Olight, and this is what they had to say, word for word. The arc field is functional. The laser can be used for PowerPoint or to play with your pet, just in case some company is out of light suddenly. This is an EDC flashlight with laser pointer. Uh, I don't know. I find that very, very interesting. A friend of mine, his name is Michael, he actually tried this with a like illuminated screen and says it doesn't work the light is not bright enough to be used for that like that sort of presentation thing. Also, I tried it at the house with a light screen and I couldn't see the green laser at all. So in the end, it's a very weird, very interesting product. I did a post on YouTube and I asked you all, what would you use this for? The responses are pretty great. I use the flashlight to identify the big kitty in the woods and then use the <laughs> laser pointer to play with it. <laughs> You guys, so funny. Let's see, you can get the mountain lion to chase it instead of eating you. This person says, Olight throws everything at the wall and sees what sticks. This person says, it would be fantastic for playing with raccoons. Maybe you can use it to play with Bigfoot. Perfect for my four-year-old. <laughs> the comments just go on and on and on. Most people did not have a good way to use this product. There were a handful of people who could, most of them pretty obscure uses. For an example, one person said they can use it for like a maintenance thing. Like if they work in like a very big, large building, they can use that to point out a problem to someone. That's pretty obscure, really. I was a supervisor in a large factory for numerous years, and maybe 30% of my time was involved with maintenance. Never did we ever have a use for a laser pointer. That seems a little bit obscure. Someone said they could use it as like a mechanic to show a customer where like a problem area is. That too's pretty obscure considering the size of most vehicles. Maybe in a rare instance, you can actually point out an issue somewhere. Okay, as a signaling device, Okay, maybe for presentations, it really doesn't work that well. I think it's interesting that the company Olight really doesn't have a good use for it in mind either. It's, a, it's an interesting product. If you like it, that's great. I'm not trying to put it down. I'm just saying, hey, this is an oddity. <laughs> it's an oddity. Not all flashlights are made for the outdoors. But then again, like the laser pointer aspect, for, for most people, they're never going to use that. Make sure to sound off in the comment section. What do you all think about that? All right, let's eat. Here we go, kebab stew. Mm-hmm. As far as the name goes for the Land Cruiser, you all have had some awesome suggestions. There's two that I really like. One is Bento or Bento Box, which means lunchbox. Calling this the Bento is hilarious. I think that's super funny. The other one is 
Okami, which means wolf. Which one do you personally like, bento or okami? Bento box or okami, which means wolf. Comment down below, shoot me an email, let me know. Talking about the laser pointer for a second, that brought back a memory. When I was in high school, maybe 16, 17 years old, one of my buddies, he had a vehicle. And my other buddy, he had this green laser pointer. So there was this house in town where the college kids lived. And we knew they were college kids because they would throw these crazy parties. And they were constantly blocking this road, just pissing everybody off us off. We started doing these missions late at night where we would basically park the vehicle, run up this road, and we would shine this laser pointer through their window. After a while they would come outside, they'd be looking for it, go inside. So we would just do this over and over and over. So one day my buddy who could drive and the friend with the laser pointer, they were cruising by that college kid's house and they put down the window and they said, college kids suck! And they shine that laser at them, right? From that point, it was on like Donkey Kong. Over time, they learned like what vehicles that we had and they were constantly chasing us around. It turned into like this big game. We were constantly just screaming at them, having a good old time. Was it juvenile and stupid? Yes. Was it a ton of fun? Yes, it was. I do not recommend doing that now. Young folk watching this. Back then when I was younger, you can get away with a lot of stuff. You cannot get away with that stuff now. That was a different time and place, that's for sure. <laughs> to wrap this up folks let's talk about gear here for a second more the little table i think is going to work really really well the nature hike stove so far so good it did have some issues igniting the first time but it is kind of cold so yeah more testing needs to be done i think these two items are going to work really well in the land cruiser all i have to do is just get out and do more testing folks that's it that's it that was a good lunch but folks, it is time for me to go home. Thank you so much for joining me for this little episode. Random lunch and chat. Random for sure. We told some stories, talked about gear, talked about the Land Cruiser. It's been a good day. Everyone, I appreciate you all. I hope you have a fantastic new year, depending on when this video goes up. Maybe it's already past the new year, I'm not sure. Either way, here's the 2023. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to getting out and to explore the territories, as the saying goes. Every single time that Susie and I go across the country, we see things, things that we don't even talk about, right? Some things that just simply do not have a place in a video. Yeah. <laughs> Comment down below and share your craziest story. What's the craziest thing that you've seen while out on the road? One day, I will share some of these stories with you all. Some of that Susie and I have. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Everyone, be well. Take care. Strength and honor. Hit the like button before you go. It does help the channel. I appreciate it. Until next time, everyone, be good, be safe. Strength and honor.